Southwest Florida has some of the best waterfront real estate in the entire state of Florida. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at three different golf access homes in three different Southwest Florida cities. We're going to take a look at a golf access home for sale in Port Charlotte, Florida. We'll take a look at a home for sale in Punta Gorda, Florida. And then we'll finish up by taking a look at a waterfront home for sale here in Cape Coral, Florida. Each one of these properties is priced roughly the same. They all have pools. They all have strengths and weaknesses that we're going to cover on this one. So make sure you stick around to see all of these. By the way, my name is Dustin Guthrie and I've been a full-time real estate broker here in Southwest Florida for almost 20 years now. And I do a video like this every single week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be around for these every single week. And if you get anything out of this video, do me a favor and hit the like button while you're at it. But also my contact information, of course, is there on the screen and it's also down in the description of this video. If you're looking for a property here in Southwest Florida, or even if you're considering maybe selling a property here in Southwest Florida, I really would love to hear from you. I hope you will reach out to me. Uh, call, text, or email me. I would love to hear from you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and taking a look at these three amazing golf access homes here in Southwest Florida. So I think we're going to start off in Port Charlotte and then we'll drive down to Punta Gorda and then finish up with a really nice house in the southwest section of Cape Coral. I can't wait to show you that property. That property is not in a flood zone, which is a huge deal right now. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and head up to Port Charlotte. Our first home is on the western side of Port Charlotte, just on the northern side of Charlotte Harbor, where the Peace River and Mayaka River meet. This is a completely remodeled home built in 1980. It has four bedrooms and three full bathrooms, and it has a total of 2,055 square feet of living area, plus a two-car garage and a pool deck, all on a golf access canal system with about 15 or 20 minutes out to open water. Everything in this house is brand new, so everything you're seeing in here has been redone and replaced, and the layout is pretty interesting. It's got this living room up front, and it's opened up to this big combination kitchen and dining room that has these huge ceilings and really great views and natural light from these big back windows. Of course, the island kitchen is finished with these lighter quartz counters and backsplash that pair really nicely with these darker custom wood cabinets and stainless steel appliances. And there's also this matching bar over there with a separate beverage fridge, which is a great use of that space. So this is one of two primary en-suites in this house. This one is over by itself off the kitchen and it offers slider access out to the pool deck. Um, you can see it also has a walk-in closet here and then the attached bathroom which features this beautiful frameless glass walk-in shower with tiled walls and then the two separated dual vanities. The other primary ensuite is on the opposite side of the house and it also has slider access out to the pool deck and it too features a walk-in closet and an attached bathroom with a walk-in shower. And this bathroom also has access out to the pool deck, so this would serve as the pool bathroom as well. And yes, wallpaper is definitely making a comeback. I'm seeing it a lot more these days. Another choice that's popular these days is the non-screen pool deck like this. This is a pretty large pool deck overlooking the waterfront back there. And there's plenty of spaces to sit in the sunshine, but there are also two separate under truss areas. So you still have a lot of shaded areas for things like a sitting area with a TV or a table and chairs where you can eat outside in the shade. The waterfront is nice and quiet back here. It has a simple captain's walk dock, and like I said, we're about 20 minutes by boat out to open water from here, so it's in a really nice location. There will probably eventually be homes on the other side of the canal here, but for now, it's very nice and private and quiet back here. So obviously this is a completely remodeled home. This home was built in 1980, but I think the only thing left from 1980 is maybe the concrete block walls. Everything from the roof to all of the flooring, to the light fixtures, to the kitchen, to the appliances and the HVAC, all of that is brand new construction. It's really, really nicely done. And I like this layout over here. You know, I get a little bit tired of going in these brand new construction homes and seeing the exact same floor plan almost in every single house. 
So it's nice to see us a little bit different layout from time to time. This is a great big high ceiling open kitchen that overlooks the pool package and the waterfront back here. And uh, overall, just a really nice home in Port Charlotte. We're in a pretty good location right here, um, back in sort of a neighborhood here. So it's nice and private, and yet we're still close to things like park, uh, parks and uh, shopping and things like that. We're also about 45 minutes from golf beaches. So it's got a nice centralized location right here. You got the beautiful golf access waterfront. We're not too far out from open water. And for $6.99, you're basically getting a new construction house here in Port Charlotte. So overall, there's a lot to like about this house. Everything here is basically brand new. Uh, it offers pretty quick boating access out to open water, and the neighborhood location is really solid and close to everything you need. Really, the only negatives I can see outright mainly involve insurance. For one, it's in a flood zone, and flood insurance can get a bit pricey in this location. The other thing is it doesn't seem to have any windstorm protection in the way of things like hurricane shutters or impact windows and doors, so you likely wouldn't see many discounts on homeowner's insurance for this house. All in all though, it's a nice place and it's pretty typical of what you're going to find at this price range in Port Charlotte. Okay, so from Port Charlotte, we're going to head south on US 41 and cross the Charlotte Harbor Bridge into the city of Punta Gorda, Florida. Punta Gorda is a smaller town and it really has that small town feel. Most of the golf access waterfront homes in this city are in a place called Punta Gorda Isles and that's where we find our next home. This home is on the larger side. It has over 2,400 square feet of living area inside with three bedrooms and two and a half baths, plus a two car garage, a huge screen pool deck and lanai, and a dock with a boat lift on a golf access canal. The house was built in 1977, but there have been some recent updates here. Mainly a new metal roof and HVAC system, and then the kitchen has been recently remodeled. The layout is a bit funky. It has sort of a sitting room in the entryway, then next to this huge kitchen is what I believe is a formal dining area, although it's raised up a bit, so I'm going to call it a dance floor for now. The kitchen remodel was nicely done with this big island and top level granite counters and upgraded wood cabinetry and appliances. On the other side of the kitchen is a huge living room and it really makes great use of what this property is all about, which is the stunning waterfront. And when we get out there, you're going to see what I'm talking about. The primary suite is on the other side of the house and the bedroom is fairly large and has access out to the screen lanai. Uh, the primary bathroom has a bit of a strange layout. There is a dual vanity which has a walk-in closet on either side. Then there's this glass block walled walk-in shower. And then back here is a private water closet, but it has a slider door out to this little privacy patio, which looks like it has a clothesline. If you know why this is like this, tell me down in the comments because I'm pretty curious about it. Out on the lanai, there's a small outdoor kitchen, and then the rest of this screened in lanai is pretty large. Uh, certainly there's the pool deck out here in the sunshine, but then there's this big shaded under truss area here that can actually be closed completely off and locked via those uh, accordion hurricane shutters. This house has those hurricane shutters on all of the windows as well, so there's discounts to be had on homeowner's insurance for those, which is awful nice these days. By far the best aspect of this house is the waterfront, and the views out back are definitely the best out of the three homes that we're seeing today. It's located on a wide canal that also intersects with another canal here, which gives this property some expansive water views. In addition to the concrete cantilever dock that's part of the seawall, this home also has a boat lift, and we're in a great golf access location here. We're only about 10 minutes out by boat to open water, and once you're out, you're essentially right into Charlotte Harbor next to Fisherman's Village, so there's a bunch of places close by where you can boat over and have lunch or drinks or whatever you want. So there's a lot to like about this house here in Punta Gorda Isles. It's got some nice upgrades to it. It's got that brand new metal roof was just put on and that thing's gonna last forever. It really does well in these storms. Uh, the other thing is, you know, it's got a new HVAC system and a new beautiful big kitchen in it. Uh, the house itself is huge. It's just over 2,400 square feet of living area in here. 
got this nice big pool package back here that's all screened in. But the one thing this house has is the waterfront right here. You've got 180 degrees of water vistas behind me right here on this intersecting canal. And that's one thing that you can never improve about this place if it wasn't so great. And what's gonna sell this house is those water views right there. You can always fix up the 1970s uh, fixtures on the inside and you know remodel and do things like that. But one thing you're never gonna be able to fix if it's not good are these beautiful waterfront views. And this house certainly has those water views at just under 700,000. The owners have also done a really great job with the landscaping here, especially up around the front entry. Uh, you know, positives at this house I think are pretty clear. First and foremost are the great water views. This house has the best views and the quickest access to open water of all the homes that we're looking at today. Second would probably be the fact that it's got great hurricane protection in the way of a brand new metal roof and the accordion shutters that are on all the doors and windows, so there's discounts to be had on homeowner's insurance at this house. Finally, it has great outdoor spaces, both in the large screen lanai and pool deck and the dock and the boat lift in the back. As for the negatives here, well, this home has a bit of a strange layout to it. It kind of winds around a little bit, and that kind of goes hand in hand with the second negative, which is the fact that a lot of this house is a bit dated. It does have that nice new kitchen, and of course it has the new roof and air conditioner, which are all great, but a lot of the house seems to have some of the older 1970s fixtures and features to it. And finally, probably most importantly, pretty much all the homes in this Punta Gorda area are in the flood zone, including this house. And even though it's rare to see flooding here, this area is susceptible to storm surge from hurricanes. And even though the homes in this particular neighborhood didn't seem to have any flooding in the recent hurricane, some of the other ones did during Hurricane Helene that passed by here. And driving through Punta Gorda, I did see where some of the homes got water during that storm surge. All in all though, I think the positives greatly outweigh the negatives here, and this home is a great example of what this price range buys in Punta Gorda, Florida right now. Okay, so from Punta Gorda Isles, we're gonna head about 30 minutes south back to Cape Coral, Florida. Our last property of the day is in a great neighborhood of the southwest section of Cape Coral. I really like this neighborhood, and there are some really amazing homes on this canal system here. This is a three bed, two bath home built in 1991. It has 1,846 square feet of living area under air conditioning, plus a side loading, two car garage, an open pool, and a really large dock space out back. The floor plan is a little more open here, and there's some nice updates in this home. You can see the tiled fireplace there in the living room, all of the flooring in this house is that nice large ceramic tile other than the bedrooms there's carpet in the bedrooms you have the dining and kitchen spaces here that are somewhat open to the living room and the kitchen itself has some nice updates in it these are newer cabinets and stainless steel appliances and i particularly like the recessed ceiling and the lighting in here it also looks out over to the pool deck and the waterfront out there over here is the primary suite, and it's a little bit smaller. It does have access to the pool deck via these sliders right here. Actually, all three of the bedrooms are on the same side of this house, opposite of the kitchen. Here's the primary bath, which has dual sinks, a separate makeup vanity, and a nice frameless glass walk-in shower with floor-to-ceiling wall tiles and two separate shower heads and controls. Okay, let's get to these great outdoor living spaces. As you can see, the pool deck is open, and again, it's getting more and more popular to have these open lanais versus the screened enclosures, but this one has a pavered pool deck with a railing around it, and it's a good thing too because we're up here pretty high above the water level down there, and uh, I'll talk more on that here in a minute. There's also a spa in addition to that big pool. Uh, my one complaint out here would be that there isn't a ton of shaded space under a covered area. Heading down the stairs to the waterfront, you can see just how big this dock area is. It starts with a big captain's walk, which covers most of the length of the lot, and then there's both a large open space for something like a table or a tiki hut, and also a huge cutout for a large boat, and it looks like there used to be a boat lift here, but it's been removed. However, that wiring is still present, so it would be pretty easy to put one back onto these pilings if you wanted to. 
The canal location is also excellent. We're only about 20 or 25 minutes out to open water from here, and there's also a small saltwater lake at the end of this canal. You can see the size of some of these neighbors' boats, so you can get a pretty substantial boat in and out of this canal system. So this is a pretty nice house. It's got some great finishes in here. It's certainly move-in ready. Uh, this home's newer than the other two properties we saw today. It was built in 1991. Uh, it's on a little bit of the smaller side versus those other two properties. We're just under 1,900 square feet here. But this is a great location in the southwest section of Cape Coral. The location itself is great, but the golf access that it offers is also really nice. We're only about 20, 25 minutes out to open water from here. But probably the biggest thing that I wanted to point out on this house is the insurance savings that you're gonna see here. Uh, number one, even though we're on a saltwater canal right here, this home is not in a flood zone. And there are not too many properties in Port Charlotte or Punta Gorda that can say that, that can be true golf access like this and yet not be in a flood zone. So even if you get a mortgage on this house, you're not gonna be required more than likely to have flood insurance here at all, which is a significant savings right now. And uh, number two, just for your homeowner's insurance, these are all impact windows and doors on this entire house. So you're gonna get significant discounts off your homeowner's insurance for having that hurricane protection. And when you couple that with the fact that it has a little bit newer of a roof, I think the roof is only a few years old here, uh, you're definitely gonna see some savings on your homeowner's insurance. So especially for people uh, who are on a little bit more fixed or limited budget, uh, that savings is gonna add up over the long term. So that definitely helps things out these days. And you know, this is a really nice house, but when you add on top of it, all those savings you're gonna see on insurance, it makes it even that much more attractive. So this property has some pretty strong positives going for it. For one, it's not in a flood zone, and yet it's still only about 25 minutes or so out to open water. So you can absolutely have your cake and eat it too here, and you're gonna save thousands of dollars a year by not needing to have flood insurance at this house. Also in that same vein, all the windows and doors are hurricane impact here, and along with the fact that the roof is only a few years old, there are significant discounts to be had on your homeowner's insurance policy at this property. Finally, I just really like this particular neighborhood in the southwest section of Cape Coral. Most of the homes are newer here, and there are million dollar plus properties all over this canal system. The homes in Port Charlotte and Punta Gorda had some nice neighborhoods, but most of the homes there were a little bit older. This is just a much newer neighborhood, and we're right in the heart of Cape Coral. The negatives here are pretty minor. For one, it's just a little bit smaller of a home than the two other homes that we saw today. Uh, secondly, there's not really any covered shaded areas on the pool deck like we did see in those two other homes. Um, finally, I'd probably want to replace the carpet in the bedrooms with tile, but that's a pretty easy fix. And I'd say all in all, this is a really excellent example of what that $685,000 buys in a great golf access southwest Cape Coral neighborhood these days. So I hope you enjoyed comparing these three different golf access homes for sale in three different southwest Florida cities. If you did get anything out of this video, do me a favor, hit the like button over there. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can see these videos every single week. Um, we're not always doing real estate stuff. Sometimes it's just good informational topics on Southwest Florida. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be around for that. And if I can help you with anything, if you're looking for a property here in Southwest Florida, or even if you're here and you wanna sell a property, uh, I hope you'll reach out to me. Again, my contact information's right there on the screen. It's also down in the description of this video. Call, text, or email me anytime. I would love to hear from you. Beyond that, thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next video here in just a few days. Like and subscribe. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs>